This is a quick video demonstration of our 32 channel MVR and I'm going to be showing you some of the basics of this unit. When you turn on the unit, you will see the startup wizard. On the startup wizard, we allows you to uh, configure things such as general settings, network remote devices, uh, you can configure uh, schedule, etc. So to start, uh, I'm going to click next step. As you see here, you can configure the system time, you can configure the date format, you can configure uh, the mouse properties if you want it to be slower for the double click or faster. Um, you can also configure how the hard drive is going to behave uh, when it's full or if you want uh, to stop recording when it's full as well. Uh, let's click the next step and here you can see you can configure the IPs of the MVR. As you see all of our units come with the default IP of 192.168.1.108. Uh, you can also configure the TCP, UDP, and HTTP port from here. If you click uh, Network Settings, you will have more uh, uh, settings here that you can configure as well. You can enable UPnP, for example, if your uh, router supports UPnP or is UPnP ready. You don't have to do port forwarding. You do the UPnP or the port forwarding from the, this setting as well. You can go to DDNS and configure uh, DDNS settings in here as well if you wanted to access uh, the MVR from outside the network using a name instead of an IP. Let's click next. Here you can add the cameras to uh, the MVR. It's very simple. You can either do it manually if you know the IP address of the camera or you can do an IP search. You can pick what camera you're going to add to each channel. So for example I'm going to pick a camera here let's say I'm gonna pick up this camera and I just simply double click on it and it will add it to the next available channel so you can see here these are all of the cameras that are connected directly to the MVR right now over the network uh, if I click edit I can edit uh, the, pr the manufacturer protocol if I want to or I can change his IP address I can um, modify certain things of the camera here I can also go to IPC config and I can change some of the settings of uh, the camera as well. Very simple to use, very nice. Uh, let's click next step. Under schedule you can change how the uh, MVR is going to be recording. If it's going to be recording 24-7 motion detection or alarm or motion detection and alarm. And this is as per channel basis or you can apply all of those settings to all of the channels at once. Also you can configure holiday settings and uh, here you can choose which days are going to be recording based on motion or 24-7. Uh, once you're done, you click finish and that's it. All my configurations are safe. This is the main interface of the uh, MVR. As you see, every time that I go to a particular uh, channel, it will show up a plus and that is to add cameras to it. If you know the IP address, you can add it manually or uh, if you uh, wanted to search the network for uh, all of the devices and IP cameras that you have, you can just simply click IP search and then pick the camera that you wanted to add to that particular channel. Uh, you have different views as well. You have uh, 36 views, so you can choose uh, view one if you wanted to view only one camera, or you can view, view four and then pick uh, four groups of cameras. And it's very simple just to you know, uh, switch between uh, layouts. It's very easy to use. Um, also, I can uh, go ahead and go 36 view. I can double click on one of the channels and view in a full screen. I can do digital zoom by just uh, simply going here on the top and then you can see it has this menu right here. You can uh, play back up to five minutes by default. You can go up to 60 minutes and what it does is just you know, you click on it and it, it will go back to up to five minutes and then you can see uh, the recordings on this particular channel. At this recording right now, there's nothing going on there, but the MVR is recording 24-7. That's why you can see uh, some footage in there. Also, you can do digital zoom. If you click on that magnifier glass, you can draw a square and it will zoom into that area. Very easy. And I can back up uh, this particular channel if I want to. I can take a snapshot. I can start recording this to a flash drive. If I have a microphone attached to it, I can uh, speak to it or hear uh, audio. It's very simple, very, very cool feature. Also, uh, I enable navigation before under general settings. And I will, uh, what it is, is, is just uh, a bar that shows up here. And then you can pick up different layouts 
right on the spot. You can go to the main menu from here. If you have a PDZ camera, you can access it from here. Uh, you can play back. You can go to the search and play back really easy. Uh, it's very simple to use. It's one, of the, one of the things about our MVRs and DVRs is the settings are very simple. Uh, the, the MVR interface and uh, the DVRs interface is very simple as well. You can, if you have a camera that supports autofocus, you can go to that camera and click autofocus and the camera will, uh, you know, uh, adjust the focus uh, automatically. And uh, this particular camera is not out of focus. If I try to click on it, it says that it doesn't support that out of focus feature. But if you do have like a megapixel camera that is a PDZ and it supports that feature, you will be able to access uh, those settings. Uh, also, I can change the color settings if I want to based on a period, 24 hour period or a 12 hour period. You will have uh, one uh, set of settings and the other 12 hour period, you will have a different settings if you want to. There is also a color mode. Uh, presets they are already there if you wanted to use them. It's very very cool feature you know very simple to use. Uh, from here I can uh, check the record uh, option and then choose how the, the MVR is going to be recording. If it's based on the schedule that I created before or manual recorder which is 24-7 or completely stop. And this option right here extra stream is for you to record the extra stream configurations of the MVR so you can playback files from your phone if, if you like to. If you have our Tech Pro SS uh, Plus version on your phone, you can playback files only if this option is being uh, turned on previously. Let's go to search. Under search, this is a search interface. You have on the right side, you have a calendar that you can pick the days that you wanted to playback footage. Uh, and then you have different layouts, up to 16 that you can play uh, simultaneously. So for, exa for this example, I'm going to pick only four. I'm going to pick my first four cameras. And then you can see here is uh, a green uh, color. It means that it's normal recorder, or it's 24-7 recording. So uh, if I wanted to play just uh, those four files or those four cameras, I just click on any area on it. And then you can see it start playing the, f the footage right away. If I wanted to fast forward, I can just simply click on it. And if I keep clicking uh, the fast playback, you will see here that this will increase the speed. Also, I can just double click on it. I can uh, let's play slow. I can just uh, make a uh, draw a square over there and draw a box. And then I can zoom in if I want to. Or I can just take a snapshot if I want to as well. Let's go back. Let's go to info. Under info, you can see the status of your hard drive. If there's any problem with the hard drive, the total space, the free space. Um, you can see logs of your unit, you know, what, what happened uh, when the unit turns off, at what time, if there is something wrong with the unit. As you see here, the MVR shut down, or actually I turn it off at this particular time. There's all sorts of things that you can look in here. Uh, you can see the online users who is logged in remotely on the unit. You can disconnect them. You can block them. Uh, on the remote device info, you can see here what's going on with the cameras. Uh, what's going on right now is it shows you there is motion detection on cameras 1, 4, uh, 7, and 8, and the other ones are recording at this time. You can see, you know, connection logs. I mean, there is a lot of information that you can see in here. Also, a nice thing that these uh, units have is the net load. Now you can see how much bandwidth uh, your MVR is using. Very nice, very neat. Also, you can see the resources on the network. Uh, you know, how much bandwidth detail is uh, being used on uh, the network as well. Let's go to settings. Under encode, here you can configure uh, the resolution of the cameras, how they're going to be streaming on the MVR and uh, the resolution when they are recording based on 24-7 or motion detection. And these are the settings for your extra stream or uh, the connection that you use to connect uh, to the MVR via a uh, handheld device or uh, your phone. And uh, these are the settings for it. You can adjust the bit rate, how much bandwidth uh, each camera is going to be using. You can uh, set up snapshots if you want to. It's, it's very easy. This is the main uh, interface for this uh, settings. And it's very important that you uh, uh, understand it because this is how the, the MVR is going to be recording. So you always want to have an optimized uh, resolution while you're having cameras attached to it.
can go to RS-232. Here you can connect an RS-232 device to control uh, the MVR. Under alarm, this MVR has alarm inputs and outputs. And then here is the, the main interface where you can configure uh, how those uh, alarm outputs or, and inputs are going to behave based on a trigger. Under DTAC, this is how the cameras are going to be uh, recording. You, from here, you can enable motion detection on the camera. You can uh, tell, for example, camera number one to record if you want to. Or when motion happens on camera one, you can tell it to record on camera four and, and six if you want to. This is uh, very simple to use. It's a very nice uh, feature. And then this is the interface for you to configure it. If you wanted to uh, receive email notifications, here is the option for the snapshot. You have to enable the snapshot, and you have to enable email notifications for you to receive uh, uh, a snapshot when uh, motion happens. On the display, you can change the resolution of the display attached directly to the unit. Here you can uh, choose up to 1080p if you are connected through uh, HDMI. You can modify the channel names of each camera if you wanted to. Uh, you can set up a tour if you wanted to. If you want different layouts uh, to be rotated on the main screen, you can uh, set it up here. Very simple to use. Under default, you can default the entire unit if you wanted to. Uh, if you uh, don't like any of the configurations, you can start all over again and uh, just simply click select all and then all of the settings will be uh, revert back to default. Under advanced, you can manage your hard drives. If you have uh, multiple hard drives, for example, this supports up to two, uh, you can, um, this is the place where you manage them and if you wanted to set them as read only or you wanted to read and write or formatting completely. Abnormality, you can set uh, triggers here when uh, an event happened. If there's no disk, you can tell the DVR to show you a message, to uh, enable uh, an alarm output, or send you an email, or enable a buzzer. So you will uh, be notified uh, in a different ways from uh, an event like this. And there's other events here that you can set as well. On their account, we can configure the users that they're going to be accessing and managing this uh, MVR. Uh, either locally or from the network. You can add users, you can add different authorities to it or different rights. Uh, you can make them reusable so uh, they can log in, multiple people can log in with the same username at the same time. You can modify passwords if you wanted to of those users that you create. You can modify groups or add groups. There's a variety of things that you can do on uh, this settings right here, on this settings page. Auto maintenance, you can tell the DVR to auto reboot a particular day or never reboot or every day at a particular time. Under config backup, this is where you can configure the settings after the MVR is being configured. So if you like the configurations that you have on your unit and everything is, uh, you don't want to lose those, for example, if something happened with a unit or you get a new one and you want it to configure exactly the same way, it's very easy to import and export those configurations and uh, you will have your MVR configured in no time. Under shutdown, I can log out the menu user that I'm uh, logged in currently. I can shut down the unit, I can restart the system, or I can switch the users. Overall, all of our units are very easy to use, are very user friendly. Uh, they are very powerful. There are different uh, configurations you can set on them based on the model that you have. And uh, I hope you like this video and thank you for watching.